as well. Today I'm visiting Haley Wood. Uh, that's a place, not a person. Uh, it's, uh, it's in Cambridgeshire. It's another one of the woodland areas one run by the uh, Beds, Cams and Northampton Wildlife Trust. And uh, today I'm kind of, I'm looking out for, what I really come here for today is to try and find some fungi. Um, specifically the little red mushroomy ones, you know. I don't know if I'll find any here. I don't even know what they're called. But uh, apparently this place has over a thousand species of fungi as well as some birds and uh, maybe some interesting compositions as well to take of the trees. But uh, yeah, that's what I'm doing today. I've just come here, have a wander around and see what mushrooms I can find. <laughs> so uh, yeah, stick with me and we'll see what we can get. So we got this one sort of long walkway in between, I think, the two halves of this wood. And looking through, it's quite thick. Quite a lot of sort of very small, thick trees. It's also started to rain. But I can kind of see, I feel like I can see little paths through into the actual main bit but I'm reluctant oh this might be a path actually oh can you see the rain oh, terrible that's it chucking it down Ooh. it's pretty beautiful down there with a bit of light on the scene but uh not getting my camera out in this <laughs> uh especially not my Sony if I had my Canon still probably would but it's quite thick I was saying Quite thick either side here of these uh, of these walkway. I'm not sure if you can actually access the woods in here. I'd love to be able to because there's some really. Oh, that's that's a path. That's definitely a path down there. Oh, this could be interesting. I've got to jump across a ditch whilst holding this. Are you ready? Yeah. Oh, made it made it in one piece yeah this is definitely a pathway down here but like I said hopefully it'll open up but it's quite thick in these areas but there's some really interesting old trees and now even though it's raining it's much better than it was because at least the sun's out so uh, you got the bonus of a bit of water on the leaves as well as the sun it's kind of opening up so I'm gonna let's have a look through here and see what we can find so I had a little explore around the area but nothing really caught my eye it was all a little bit thick there I think so I retraced my steps back to the pathway because that tunnel of leaves really caught my attention before and I wanted to do something with it So after saying that I'm going to look for fungi to shoot, I'm actually shooting a real classic image I think here. Uh, I'm basically shooting down the track. Um, uh, the rain's giving everything sort of a real nice rich colour. The sun's shining on it and you're getting some nice little bright spots. Although the polarizer is absolutely essential, otherwise it will just be a mess of bright colours. But I'm shooting down the track and there's a little tunnel of light down the bottom where the trees are arching over the top of the, uh, of the, the pathway. And uh, yeah, there's a lot of light down in that area at the moment and it just looks really fantastic. So I'm right out at 105 millimeters. I probably will uh, 
convert this or shoot in APS-C mode as well and push it out to about 150 millimeters, see if I can compress the image even more just to pull that, that sort of entrance to that tunnel towards you. But it's a real classic shot here. It's a real obvious shot here, but it just looks so nice. I'm, I'm not going to turn it down. Just shot another tunnel of light they're really nice around here there's like literally everywhere you look in all directions you've got these like lovely paths sort of grassy actually quite muddy paths and then these like trees arching over the top with these lovely tunnels of light and they're fantastic and i managed to get dog walker down this one so hopefully that's going to come out really well anyway back to the job in hand i actually came here as i said before several times looking for fungi uh now i think i found some uh just down here one thing i will say um I appreciate that I look all right plumbing these wellies. <laughs> Landscape photography, woodland photography, any photography, you, it's very hard to look anything other than a complete idiot most of the time. When you're doing a bit of street, you can wear all your, like, your cool clothes and you know, your nice jacket and you, you can sort of wear a decent sort of top and look look cool, cool. But as soon as you start doing anything landscapey where you're likely to get you know muddy or whatever, you start to put on the most like ridiculous items of clothing that just really make you look like an idiot. But I will say there is an absolute feeling of liberation when you can just stomp around in the mud and not worry about getting any of it on your trainers or your jeans. So practical, yes. Fashionable, no. Anyway, so I found these, uh, I found some fungi here. I found these little mushrooms uh, and they're grouped really nicely in the, in, the, uh, in the elbow, if you like, of this little um, fallen or bit of old wood. Um, I'm going to try and take a shot of those now so I'm going to set up and then I'll come back to you. Okay so I'm all set up and we've got this nice little family of, of mushrooms or fungus or fungi and I may have placed a little leaf in there, <laughs> done a bit of gardening, just tidied the scene up. I like the way that they're just sitting in the elbow of the of this fallen branch here, this fallen log and I've gone down really low with the camera and I've got it focus stacked. So basically what I'm doing is I'm, I think there's about six or seven images. I don't know why I'm whispering, they can't hear me. It's about six or seven images all stacked with a different part of the image in focus. Now the problem was there was a little bit of sun uh, which kind of interfered so I had to start again and I'm not sure. One of them may be, one of the stacked images may have the sunlight and one may not, I'm not quite sure. Um, one of them will work, I'm hoping. So yeah, I've stacked all the images. I also used the torch on my camera to give a little bit of fill light onto the side where there wasn't much. And uh, we shall see how that comes out. I'm hoping it's gonna look really nice. such a palaver trying to take photos of fungi um, literally I can't get low enough a lot of the time so I've got the camera on the little tripod which I'm using for this gimbal here but I'm having to balance it on the big tripod leg to stop it from sliding because the little tripod isn't strong enough to actually hold the weight of the camera and the lens when it's extended Whew, so what a nightmare I've got a shot <laughs> 
<laughs> it's taken me 20 minutes to get and I'm not sure it's that good, but I'll show you it anyway. Um, and now it's really dark. It's really dark here and I think the rain's gonna hit any minute and I'm gonna get absolutely soaked. Um, I may pack up, I may carry on, just depend, it's all dependent on the weather now, but I'm gonna hunt around and hopefully this will pass over and it'll get a bit lighter again and I might actually get some shots, who knows. Chucking it down. Uh, just trying to find my way out as well. This is proving to be a bit difficult. Seeing as uh, I don't quite know where I'm going, but I am on a path, which is always a good start. But Jesus, I'm getting soaked, absolutely soaked. Uh, uh, this looks. Uh, which way? Uh, I'll go that way. That way. That way. It's got to be that way. Anyway, huh. hope you've enjoyed the vlog. Lovely place to come for some fungi when it's dry, I'd imagine. Not so much right now. I'm going to go. But uh, it's been a pleasure. And I'll, <laughs> and I'll see you on the next one. What was I thinking? Woo. That is some. Oh, oh I'm going to oh, I thought I was going to get the puddle then. That was awful. Plus, I got lost. Not good. Not good. Anyway, like I said before, thanks for watching. Uh, sounds great photographer for you isn't it or well, photography in general some days it's great and some days it's a nightmare and uh, it started off well started off interesting very quickly turned into a wet nightmare anyway thanks for watching I'll see you next time <laughs>